too big to fit in the bags. <laughs> this is called Fat Entrapment. I just wanted to show you before I put it away. Um, this is basically what Wagyu beef is like uh, all the way through. And yeah, this came off a, well, a Belgian blue kind of cross dairy cow to be fair. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you what it looked like because I find it very interesting. This is uh, brisket, by the way. This is um, all of the bits that uh, didn't, they're just fat, just crap. Uh, and I'm rendering all this down, melting it all down. If we have a look in the bottom, it'll be going liquid, eh? Over the years, I've played this game with myself. I've played a game with some buckets. Let's change that. And it was just see how if you can throw the bucket in the bucket. I've been doing it for about 10 years. I think I'm getting good at it. Better. Do you know what? At this time of the year, the most annoying thing I'll show you. I can hear the kill you. Yes. All the sheep start getting rid of the wool. Can you see all over the field all little white bits? It is so scruffy, but honestly, they're like easy cares. They literally just shed anywhere they fancy. I should pay the kids to go around the field picking wool up, shouldn't I? No, I don't think they do it either. Someone asked me the other day, I think it was on TikTok, can we have a car tour? So this is Voice ML. Um, snazzy it is. It was 1200 quid, wasn't it? How many years ago? So it was bought off um, a, a friend um, who used to come to the garage and it was dirt cheap because because was it lived on a farm and it was going rusty down the bottom fortunately we had a garage so that didn't really matter too it did however have two black labradors now obviously you're not going to go to we buy any car with a car like that are you so yeah we got it for um 1200 quid which is nothing it's lasted years it's never actually put a foot wrong has it uh, all it's really had wrong with it is like a cracked wire, uh, a sensor, um, the had drive shaft, and um, yeah, it's been absolutely fine. Uh, it can tow the New Holland. It's comfortable. Now, if I get in the Ranger to go to the auction, I'm literally like this, going, uh, you can't have a brew in the Ranger because you'd end up spilling it all over yourself. Whereas this, you can see I'm holding the camera. It's it's a comfy car. Well, it was, wasn't it? It was, it, you know, it's a, it is a, it's not a farm car. But yeah, it works really well for us. Now we could, could have um, a very expensive double cab pickup and you know, a finance agreement that comes out every month. But why would we want to do that when we could just drive this? You know, we're not pretentious in any way. And like Roy said, he would rather spend the money on um, like a feed star system for the, you know, the future of the farm than spend it on a car that's just gonna depreciate as soon as it rolls off the forecourt. So last night I showed you the um, the fat that I was rendering down. Um, there's a page on uh, 
what's it on on tiktok a lady and she does she makes soap out of like tallow anyway she goes around and she collects the fat off like roast joints from what i can gather and renders it down and makes it into soap it's very um like back garden kind of you know what i mean but i just wanted to show you how this was going on i don't know if i'm doing it right if anyone has any suggestions i am very very open right now hey. From the looks of it, I think I'm just making crackling. Beef crackling. <laughs> Doesn't smell like cooking beef either. I can, yeah, it smells a little bit dodge. I don't know if I've put enough in, if I've not put enough in, if I'm doing it right, if it's on the right temperature. Obviously we don't have a temperature, so yeah, I can't put it on 180 mark. Do you know what I mean? Any suggestions, welcome, any suggestions. I wish people could smell this bale. It smells like summer. Oh, it's so good. It's good. It's good. We well, have to pull the quad bike out without starting it because every time it starts, the sheep think they're being fed and they all go mental and run to the gate and make lots of noise. Oh, they are doing, look. We didn't even start it. Tell me you have a six year old without telling me you have a six year old. This is his yard. Got some stolen rubber mats. This is what is actually drilled to the wood to tell us it's a construction site. And um, we've got some stolen screwdrivers, couple of spanners. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So we are just using up the last of the snack here. And we're gonna go and take it to the girls. Schnackerella. They love it. It's got sore tootsies, so I'm just going to put some blue spray on. I'll show you why it's got sore feet. So what happens is you've got your lamb's foot like this, right? And then it goes to the grass and the grass is all wet and all muddy. And it does this and it goes in between its little toes and it makes it sore. Now that's not particularly sore if I'm honest. I'll show you another one. There's a few of them just getting a little bit lame. So we just caught this one here. It's just run away from us. Right, bonny lamb. And look at this. Can you see how it's red raw in there? It's really, really sore. Can you see? It's, the hoof isn't coming away, so it's not anything too drastic, but yeah. Good luck. That was the one I wanted. That was the one that had really sore feet. Um, everything else, I'm just <sighs> jumping on them as and when I can get near him, to be honest. Oh my God, look at this little brute. That's one of the bitsers. Look at it. <laughs> that is a hilarious lamb. I don't know why I find that really funny. Hello, with your big thick feet. Look at you. Like anything off ours has tend to got really fine legs and that's got right big thick chunky legs. They're as thick as a sheep. <laughs> okay, so this here is the old uh, like tank room, so to speak. It's where when it was a dairy farm and Tom was here, he had his bull tank in here. And um, you can still see on the floor where they, they rolled it in on these metal things. So the other... Um, month it was the day of the tractor run early morning roy went for a wee and he heard water running outside 
and one of these pipes had burst up here. It had completely flooded this. Um, luckily, it is a wet room because it was a tank room and there is a drain in the corner that goes to outside. So it quickly went away. Anyway, all these bags and everything was soaking wet and oh, it was just miserable. So what we did is we just turned the water off and honestly, we just, we suffered up, we just walked away and completely ignored it. Um, anyway, Johnny came the other day and, um, God, he's such a star, honestly. He came and he put new water in and then he's, look how neat that is, all the way around there, uh, all down here and across, all down there. So, do you know what? It's about time it got a clean up. <laughs> it's a proper scrum. So what we do, what we actually use it for is um, this sink's normally plumbed in against the wall and we keep carving and lambing supplies in here. Uh, so we keep all of the, the feeders for the calves and lambs up there. We, we have them up off the floor. Uh, carving aid, ropes, you know, associated carving things. Um, and then that sink. And then normally the floor is pretty clean um, and you can wash it out, which is a bonus for us because obviously when you're feeding calves, you end up getting powdered milk everywhere and the stuff is rank, like it proper sticks, it's horrible. So what I'll do is I will sort this out now and get it, get it nice and clean, not be quite as ashamed of it anymore. <laughs> We're just moving some really unruly bullocks to try and get them up there, and they're just naughty. No! Come out! Go on! They're very naughty. Cow dog to the rescue. Yeah, we need. Yeah! Uh, the lad. So really peculiar outro today. <laughs> the other day I um I did a very small video, um, I think it was on a reel where I I cooked a piece of the beef from the cow that we butched. Anyway, um I had it like this. And Joe Seal messaged me and said, Are you cooking on a piece of sheet metal? No, it is um it's basically baker thick baker glide. Um, and you stick it on the top of the agar and you don't need to use a pan, it's dead easy. So the, the hens weren't laying well, they were locked up and then obviously bird flu lockdown has ended. So the hens are free again. So we've now got, lovely, eggs, complete with chicken shit, lovely. So, so you can just come along for the ride, why would you not want to? Like it's, I can't explain it, it's like a piece of canvas. And it'll just cook. Wow. I really wanted to put the lid down, keep it heating. I don't like it touching the roof of the lid though because it makes it dirty. So for tea, uh, forgot, we're not doing tea time updates anymore, am I? We're having bacon and eggs and some chips. Um, the potatoes are not ours. They are from the man at the feed store, but they are grown locally. Um, bacon is nothing to do with us. It's just from Aldi because um, Joe and Ollie haven't been butched yet. And the eggs are from the garden. Mm. Tasty. Literally a spatula. Spatula. Tasty. That was totally random, wasn't it? Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow where we will be turning stock out. And I'm just about to run down the lane now um, and go and block some gaps up in the wall, um, news on that tomorrow.